Ann Messerschmidt, the Environmental Resources Specialist with the City of Lakeville. And we're out here today to look at some past projects that we have done throughout the city. And right now I'm standing next to the 205th Creek Stabilization Project. The problem we're having with this channel is it was severely eroding steep cut banks and we we're losing huge amounts of property as it went down the line. The reason why the channel was eroding so badly is there's 531 acres of upland watershed that drains through this area. So the velocity that would come through would just rip the side banks and send sediment downstream into Lake Marion. So in March 2003, we used some boulders near the inlet, kind of added to what was there and did a little bit of a reslope to try to slow it down, but it proved to not be enough. So with the assistance of the Vermilion River Joint Powers Organization, the city of Lakeville entered into a 50-50 cost share agreement a plan was created with Bar Engineering that stabilized 600 linear feet of the channel by using natural features, vegetation, and a wider floodplain to dissipate the energy and reduce erosion. The methods that were used were vegetated reinforced slopes or soil pillows, some floodplain enhancement, and slope stabilization using vegetation. So the main part of this phase of the project started in October of 2008 where we had to come in and remove trees. We tried to save as many as possible for the residents. They first started on the downstream end of the slope by putting in a rock barrier that would hold back any erosion that would happen during the project. Then they started by grading out the area, taking away the steep banks and grading it to a natural, more of a natural slope. And then they added in a little bit of fill and some rock along the channel and then they added some rock veins as well. They significantly added to the original rock from the inlet that was installed in 2003 and brought that out a much wider distance and graded a much wider side slope so it's not as steep of an area as it was before. Also that fall they installed biologs along a few portions so that it wouldn't cut into the banks. In early spring 2009, the plantings were installed. There were 84 deciduous trees that were planted out here, 27 pines and 300 shrubs. So we wanted to make sure there was enough vegetation to stabilize the area as well as protect it in the fashion that it was before we came in here. So today we have many, many of the trees and shrubs have established, the shrubs have established very well. A lot of the um, willow posts that were put into the banks are growing and we've had virtually no issues with erosion since this has been installed. The channel is kind of naturally shifting itself out of the rock that was put in there. It's creating natural riffles and pools. So this has been a great enhancement for not only stabilizing the channel, but it's also creating great habitat for local wildlife. Another project I'd like to highlight is the shoreline stabilization along Lake Marion at Casperson Park. We received a grant from the Minnesota DNR to do the shoreline restoration. Before we restored the area, there was really big cuts and um, we were kind of, things were mowed too closely, so the shoreline was just eroding right away. We began restoring the shoreline in September of 2006. We first put down the biologs where we wanted the edge of the planting to be, and that will hold back uh, wave erosion and keep some of the um, runoff from above from causing problems to our restoration area. Once the biologs were installed, we brought in some fill to fill in the area that had eroded away. After that, we were able to lay down seed and put the blanket down. We also installed some rock pathways to still provide access to the area. It's a popular fishing spot. Then we installed a split rail fence to keep people out of the area. And also some snow fencing had to be put up as the planting was were getting established to keep geese out as well as foot traffic. Today the garden is very well established. We only have to come in here about once or twice a year to get out some main weeds and it's been flourishing. Lots of plants keep reseeding themselves and the shrubs that were installed are way bigger than they started. The flowers are attracting lots of wildlife. We've had lots of butterflies and monarchs and frogs in this area now so the habitat has greatly increased and the erosion from the area has been significantly decreased. The last projects we'll cover today are all rain gardens. 
right here. now we're next to the Casperson Rain Garden, which is located right next to the boat launch at Casperson Park. All the runoff from this parking lot now is intervened by this valley gutter here. So as it comes through the gutter, it enters the rain garden where all the pollutants are then filtered out as it goes through the soil. The water is filtered and also cooled before it enters back into Lake Marion. The benefit of cooling the water and taking the nutrients out is that it will stop a lot of algae growth that could happen in the lake. Today this rain garden is only two years old and it's getting very well established. The plants are growing almost to their full height and with the grass and shrub and tree rain gardens we have a lot less maintenance. When, when flowers are involved it, it you know, adds a pop of color but it, it's a little more difficult to maintain them. So we've been leaning more towards the grasses and shrubs and trees. There are four other locations throughout the city where we use rain gardens to filter stormwater. One of the locations is in Valley Park and at the Galaxy Liquor Store. And the largest rain garden is located next to City Hall. And just as the Casperson rain garden does, the stormwater comes in through the curb cuts and it filters out the stormwater, reducing the nutrients and cooling the water before it enters into the next water body. If you're interested in helping out with these rain gardens and weeding them and taking care of them, please give me a call at 952-985-4528.